yes, so my name is Ben Alfrey. Yeah, and I'll be giving a, a quick overview of our project, uh, Algorithmic Design of Functionally Graded Prosthetic Liners, which is a collaboration between groups at University College London, University of Southampton, uh, and Radi Devices. Um, so in prosthetics and orthotics, uh, the use of digital manufacturing uh, is rapidly accelerating, really exciting things happening. Um, however, it's still, it's still focused on the rigid material prosthetic componentry that's available. Um, and the thing is, is that, that we're soft. Um, and yeah, we're interested in what we, could, what we can do in terms of soft technology. Um, yeah, this slide, yeah. So um, the, uh, yeah, the, uh, the interface between the residual limb and the socket, or is often called the stub socket interface, uh, it still presents a lot of challenges around comfort, fit, um, and, and more and more people uh, more ubiquitously are wearing softer, less American liners between the socket and the limb. Uh, that help to reduce shear stress on the skin, increase comfort, um, and they just, for particular areas, they give a higher cushioning effect uh, on the bony prominences. Um, but how could these be improved? Particularly maybe, you know, thinking about people that have residual limbs with troublesome topologies, uh, that, you know, shapes that are difficult to fit for prosthetists, there might be heavy scar tissue, or the residual limb volume might be varying greatly. I mean, they do daily, they do seasonally, um, but what could be done? So next slide, please. So looking to nature, let's think about those tissues that are actually in the residual limb or other parts of the body, other parts of nature. Well, nature creates these incredible interfacing mediums between hard and soft materials uh, in the body um, by grading between the connecting tissues um, for different reasons in different places. Uh, and thinking about our problem, well, this grading of tissue, what it does is it spreads the stresses being translated. So rather than concentrating stress at a specific point, um, it spreads it across that interface. Um, which you know, has potential to, to increase the possible force transfer at an interface um, and reduce the, the tolerance to damage because it isn't creating these, these maxima of stress or, or the interface between different components within the device mm -hmm. coming onto the residual limb. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, yeah, next slide, please. So, um, additive manufacturing is now, you know, it allows you know, for, for us to think about these things with multi material printing, structurally complex products. Uh, that we that we couldn't previously create. And so we're really interested if we can incorporate these ideas into the technology for the stump socket interface. You know, we want to look at ways of, you know, potentially making bespoke optimized material properties across the interface that could be created uh, for the varying tissues of the residual limb. So, you know, this could be grading perpendicular to the interface, although thin, that's one area that we, we're, we're really interested in exploring, you know, potentially really creating very very soft materials up against the residual limb um, and, and otherwise, you know, something a little bit more akin to the socket, uh, socket at the other side. Um, but maybe that's not the, we want to explore whether that's the right, the right question to be asking. Um, also, you know, if there's parallel to the limb, if there's different tissue properties um, around the surface of the residual limb. Um, but really exciting is to be able to think about programming the material properties of the liner interface, um, you know, dictated by the local properties of the residual limb, the needs of the user, and their use type running, for example, presents uh, different problems uh, within the socket as opposed to, to walking or otherwise. So, yeah, so next slide, please. And so really, along with these new ways of manufacturing, um, across the board for, for, all, for, all, for all components, really, um, we need newly applicable repair strategies. We need to devise these if we're not really going to be exacerbating what is also a really real problem in the repairability of these devices. Um, for, for liners, repair barely happens at all. Um, and that's okay, maybe in some settings. Um, but for, for, for the liners, you know, these are replaced once, twice a year. It could be more, more frequent than that. And that's, this adds up to, to, to a great amount of waste and expense um, over the lifetimes of users. And if we're, you know, if we, if we are, if we're thinking about more advanced technologies, uh, we need to be reducing the, you know, the, the value and the cost that we're putting into that. We need to be fixing these things rather than just throwing away something more expensive. And at the more, the more, at the, at the simpler end of simply allowing a product to be available to somebody in low resource settings, well, this, this, you know, this, this low, you know, continued use of the device, it puts up huge barriers for potential users in low resource settings. Um, and if we can be, be fixing something and creating efficiencies and costs, then that can open up liner technologies in these settings. And it also has a knock-on effect to other socket technologies, for example, that, that require a liner to work. Um, okay, next slide, thanks. So 
Um, therefore, so building on the materials development work that we've done at UCL on soft material structures and liner technology uh, and the exciting predictive socket design and modelling work uh, that's been done at University of Southampton and the now spin out company Radi Devices, we aim for the following with this project. So we want to model and produce new functionally graded material interfaces uh, for improved comfort of the socket interface. Uh, along with developing repair strategies to match these advanced manufacturing techniques. So the objectives are to fabricate a set of novel graded patches, uh, model the socket interface with respect to optimizing the stress profile, want to develop a device level custom testing line at implementing these developments, and finally look at a repair and maintenance technique appropriate to these material structures. Um, and then the next slide, please. Yeah, and then, yeah, that's our, that's our team there. Um, yeah, so looking forward. And so myself and Alex and Elsa and Joshua will report back uh, when we've made some progress. Thanks very much.